Don's wearing the perfect color for my question. <laughs> it's about love. So there's that honeymoon period and everything is great or why does love become so difficult or why it, it's never easy. Why is that? Isn't that sad? I love, know. love should be easy. Um, you want the simple answer? Yeah. We've stopped learning how to ask for love. We have become a culture who doesn't know how to ask for love and in countless clients, they, they struggle to say, this is what I want. This is what would make me feel loved. Or just to say, I really need a hug. When really they're, they're looking like, you know, they're having a meltdown and a temper tantrum to their spouse. And really all they wanted to say is, can you give me a hug and hold me and tell me I'm going to be okay? That's asking for love. And it's interesting because we don't know how to just say that. Instead, we start telling the person, no, if you did this, it would make me feel better. And if you did that, and if you would have gotten the groceries, and if you would do the dishes, and if that would make me feel better. And it's not true. If you would walk up and hug me and tell me I'm beautiful and smart and I can pull this off, I'm tired, that would make me feel loved. And then I would say, would you mind helping with the dishes? I'm so, of course, the connections there, they're pulled together. They're, as they're asking for what they really need instead of telling them what they're not giving them, which is not true. They're asking for love. And it's the same with kids, the same with anyone you experience. I and mean, my kids, they know as a single mom running a business, I get a little bit overloaded sometimes and we've talked through it. And sometimes they're like, they'll, they'll break down. And I'm like, you know what? Sometimes I just get overloaded. Our code word is mommy, I need love. And that comes out of their mouth. I stop everything I'm doing. I give them a hug. I smother them in kisses. I'm like, okay, baby, what do you need? Like. Let's talk. Well, and then they start opening up and really they're not throwing a temper tantrum. They just needed more attention. And every human being wants to know that they're loved. Hmm. And that's all it is. When you've got enough hugs and kisses or just someone holding your hand and saying, I'm here for you, it changes the ball game because you calm down, you get into your feelings and your emotion center, you become intimate with someone on some scale, whether it's friendship, lover, husband, child, and they feel safe. And love is the safest space you can be in. But we are so afraid to say, Molly, I need love. Can you give me a hug? We would never do that. You rarely see people that. And, and my kids are so used to it. Like, Mommy, I need a hug. Mommy, I need love. I'm like, okay. So we've stopped asking. We've stopped learning how to ask. We've stopped teaching our family and friends and children how to ask. It is pretty simple. It, we're, it's <laughs> not simple, but we make it so hard. And I... I don't know where along the way we stopped asking. I don't know, but we're going to have another conversation about that, of how we can teach that, talk about it. Like, that needs to... Absolutely. I mean, that would change the world. Absolutely. Like, just asking. And it's... It, the conversations become different when, you know, oh, so, when you're asking yes. for it. So true. I mean, you couldn't have said that better. It's a whole different car, whole different ball game when I'm just saying, can you give me some love? And that person's like, but of course, I would love... What do you need? And, and now it's an open, heart-centered conversation and not a, if you did this conversation. Well, it's, it's truthful. It it's brings it right good. down to what's really going on. And so many of our problems are just beating around that bush. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome.